Hey YouTube, is I uh, Gary Gamer Guy, and I'm back with a tutorial. Um, this is a different video, but recently there's been problems with Necrofi and a few hacks out of the project. Um, and then put it back through the thing. After you built the project, it breaks the entire thing. For example, let's say that if you built the ROM that you're working on, so this is the Ultimate Potatoes hack ROM I built. Say that if you copy that. I gotta put this into the um, thing. I'm gonna make a new project on it. Let's see. But first, we gotta actually hex that the thing. Let's see where we go. Downloads. There it is. Build. And I'm using the E79F. This works with anything. This is the cabinet code. I'm just gonna put. It. Oh, 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 that's squirt gun. Just for example, we're gonna save the build. Okay, and then we're gonna open it in Necrofee again. So here we go. And then we're gonna have to save the build to. Let's see what what's a good thing to. Sampi one one needed help with his thing. That that's a really good name for it. So you save that and you create it. And as you see, let's look around. See level one eighteen. The name doesn't show up, and that's because it's a weird level. But I don't know why. But let's just go to someone like Maniacs in the Pyramid, for example. I'm already showing off levels from, like, the hack that I'm working on. So, there's gonna be some spoiler alerts, but let's see. We're gonna go to settings and see how everything's fucked up. You do not want to, um, download the, um, thing and then put it through it again. The easiest thing you want to do is you want to go to your base ROM, so... For example, or if you have a ROM sitting around, let's see. I have that image from the stupid video. I can't get over that. If they haven't gotten rid of it. Um, for example, I need to go to the Ultimate Potatoes Mix. This is what you want to do because this is the base. Let me play it real quick. Let's see if it actually is. Yeah, so this is the base that we've made. And. I at least I'm using the build the hack. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy everything, let's say we're gonna at least copy the base or there's the one I've said. Okay, I'm actually gonna get rid of the thing. And then I'm gonna get rid of this thing. And then I'm gonna paste this. And let's say we're gonna make a new project with it. But first things, I'm going to get rid of this. Anyways, get to the new project. We're going to... Thing. Actually, first off, I got to do the hex editing thing. I actually closed the win hex, so my hex editing tool. So give me a second. All right, we got to open it through my hex editor. And then I need to find the actual download folder. Get the base. And then you could G E seven nine F. That's nine five nine F. And we're just gonna spam a whole bunch of zeros like right here. Do 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 do. All squirt gun just for example. So you save it, and then you open the project again. So we gotta make the new project. Where's the base? There's the base. Browse it. Helping zombie. Great. So, here you have everything in, like, the original run that you worked on. Which might be a problem. Like, oh no, you lost everything. But, let's say, you see everything's normal, though. So, what you gotta do is, you gotta, um... First off, you gotta put all the hex editing to the base ROM that you wanna use. When it comes to pallets, you gotta put it in, like, onto a little, like, 4 day works like I have here. You have to put the pallet here, or else it won't show up in the necrophy. 
so you can um, add it in there. When I said I want to add that, you got to basically put the um, code of the pal in there, then you got to open the old level ladder, get set to where it actually is on that level, and then you um, put it through the thing, so that's a quick clarification. And then you got, um, what you gotta do is, so after you've done all your changes and you make the new ROM, you basically, um, you go to your old project. Hopefully you all understand this. You go to your old project, old Tales Mix, you copy all the levels in. See, so you copy, paste that. Yeah, get rid of that. Um, you copy, paste this. For example, yeah, this is it. Yeah, there we go. You copy paste this into here, delete everything, paste it over, copy over. Oh, it's showing up. Yeah, it is. Then you also do other things that you want to have save, like save you have the misc. You, you change the passwords. You can copy that over. Into the helping zombie right here. Replace it. Or like if you change sprites or something, you copy whatever the fuck you change into here. It's pretty much like everything else. And then you open the um necrophy again. You open necrophy, you open the ROM. Go open see all our levels are in here. And pallets you want to use, yeah, again, you have to put them on the levels so they actually show up in the editor. So you got all these pallets right here that show up, which is a good thing. And all your passwords also show up. Like, let me get to the passwords. Where's... All the passwords go over. And if I was to test this, I would get a shit ton of squirt gun from the cabinet. Not gonna really test it, but first, if you have anything like project settings that you have set, you gotta change it again. Like, say, I have the game in on 120, 121, you gotta do that, and then you gotta just select all your patches, whatever the fuck you want, whatever. And then, yeah, that's how you uh, get all your hack setting changes into the thing. You just gotta. You just gotta edit the base hack or have whatever you've used as the base edited. You hex edit that, put it back through Decrofi, copy all your levels into the folder, and then you uh, password two, then you just um, edit your project settings and make it fit the project. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notification bells. I hope this really helped you, Sabi, and others who've had in trouble with this. And yeah. But I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna be funny and off with deleting this, this, and this. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.